Thank you for all the fucking shit, like, saying shit to us and telling us you like it. It means a lot to both of us. Shouts out. Shouts out to every single person that messaged or commented about it because it got all good feedback except once. It was yeah. a slow week. Yeah, slow week. This AKA, one, we didn't get in the drama. This one hit us. <laughs> yeah, this one hit us hard. This, this week kind of hit us hard. So we decided to create our own awards. So yeah, because we can't win any real ones. <laughs> the Greenies. And he was like, he elbowed some chick in the head and everybody was tripping out about it. And he's like, what? I'm like, bro, you got to give some context to that. And he's like, he's like, I mean, that's what you did. Yeah, he beat the fuck out of her. <laughs> Y'all can never talk shit ever again about us because despite all the shitty matches we've had, we've never done anything. Speak for yourself, brother. <laughs> Oh, I don't think I've ever done anything half as bad as that, like that shit. So I thought for a segment, we could read some of the comments of this shitty clip that absolutely killed professional wrestling. And Wish.com Ruby Riot didn't want to tell. First off, you ain't shit for coming back. <laughs> because... I'm going to hit it 10 times a match when I return, and I'm going to kill that fucking finish completely. So thank you for that. Too late. <laughs> oh, yeah, too late. I already killed it. My bad. Today, we are going to be watching and reviewing Backyard Wrestling Tapes. Today, we got Matt Thunder versus Jack Delta. They were real views. I was just happy I wasn't fucking involved. This is the first time I'm able to look at some shit that someone else is involved in and be like, oh, cool. We're going to rate this match on a scale of Gio Bronco to Jason Hodge. It's certain people pushing the narrative that Hannah knew that she was going to get shot on. Fun fact, me and Zell for like the first four months of my wrestling career did not like each other. And we wrestled each other, what, like fucking seven times in like two months? A lot months. of times. He never shot on me once. At all. Bro, if I did, it probably wouldn't hurt. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, shit, what makes y'all think Zoe would fucking pick this moment to be like, yeah, I'm gonna shoot on somebody? Should I just tell the full TJ Obo story of how this whole move started? Yes. All right, let's let's, let's go down story time. How much time we got? We gotta stick within our time. Really. The people that like us is, like, contradicting because it's like, we have people that don't like each other and they're <laughs> beefing with each other, but then they'll text us and be like, yo, Good shit. So Love basically, what you're, doing. you're talking about because believe it or not, we don't seek drama out. Like I know, I know, it's hard to believe, right? These two fuckers sitting here with killing the bills t-shirts <laughs> with a goddamn podcast are talking about how they don't like drama, but like genuinely, we don't create the drama. It just happens, and then it involves us. Gosh. Cut that. Cut that. Like, that's for shoot. Cut that. Cut that. Cut that. We gotta find another way to end this segment. But we have shirts. Which, by the way, I got uh, dress coded at Horror Slam. Shouts out to the person who dress coded me. I didn't know that there was attire like rules at a deathmatch show. So thanks. Oh, God. Thank Four you. minutes after that post got posted. Four minutes. He commented on it. What did it say? That looks familiar. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else. So Which, that... by the way, cold ass response. Every cold single as fuck. time. So now we have this running joke that every single time, if anyone's watched a wrestling match with me, whenever someone hits an elbow, I always say, that looks familiar <laughs> every time. My... And we weren't the only people with drama this week. Yeah. Like we said, it was a busy week. Busy. So, Chase Burnett. Who the fuck is Matt Breeding? <laughs> the Uncle Chase just out of Bro. nowhere decided to just... What was what was the main point of the post? I don't know. That he doesn't exist? <laughs> I've had a match with him, so I know that he does exist. <laughs> Fun fact, he hit me with a catching spine buster that was cool as fuck. Play that clip. And uh, you're going to tell me steroids or no steroids? Okay. Um. I wish it was a word. I wish that was a word. I wish they were leading to a match, but I don't know. Chase was just on one. What were you on, Chase? I feel like Chase is almost always on one. <laughs> Chase, on. Chase, whenever he opens up social media, is always on a go. Right. Forever Young lost to Rachel Green. No, I did not. I lost to Triple Rage. <laughs> it's the same thing. 
No, it's not. Or, I'm sorry. Triple is. H is raunchy ring rap. I mean, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait. That wasn't me. Briar said that. Briar said that. Pictures, and you can put yourself into the game. Like, I've been seeing them online, like Ace Ace Evans in the game and Danny Astro in the game. All these people in the game. We're not in the game. I'm sure, look, I'm sure Davison already created you. <laughs> I'm sure she created you too. I mean, you might be like a 65 overall, <laughs> yeah, but she still probably has you in the IPW universe mode, brother. Now that we're done with the petty pit stop, let's put somebody over, brother. Let's put somebody. And I want you to go first because I'm really interested to see who you're going to put over. Let's put some people over before let's we get go. petty. Let's Gotta go. put them over, brother. Yes. Gotta put you over. Because we don't just shit on people. Yeah, so it's time to put someone over. It's about time you put him over. I was like, fuck. It's been like three episodes. It's top. He always gives me advice and stuff like that, so. Help transform you into the spot monkey you are today. <laughs> you piece of trash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You spot monkey. And I, it's controversial. A lot of people don't like the overdrive. It Because some, it sucks. But some people are trying to get it over. And it might, might go years and years, but they're trying to get it over. Yeah, well, guess what, brother? I know the truth, and the truth hurts. And the truth is that the overdrive will never get over. Ugh, truth hurts, brother. <laughs> yeah, truth hurts, brother. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> we should make that our thing. Truth hurts? Yeah, I'm sure it will get over then. <laughs> pay for yeah. We could pay for views. Like that is true. Some other people. Damn. What? You said what you said. I support that. That's it. That's it. And that was this shit show of a podcast. Um, this might be the last one, depending on how y'all feel. We could get canceled, potentially, because of this one. We're killing the business.